if open treason was unfolding against the people of the United States and the planet, would anyone notice? Well, only if the people themselves that are historically informed recognize the threat and take action to warn others. We have a very important broadcast obviously lined up for you today on this live Worldwide Friday transmission. That said, um, we have a raft of special reports that are pretty bombshell that we're going to be airing and premiering here on air today. So you'll definitely want to stay with us for that. In fact, guys, I just had my entire video list in here marked up. And now I can't find it again. So the easiest thing to do is just bring me the video list again. And I'm going to be honest with listeners tuning in. What I'm looking at here is so over the top that I'm having one of those rare moments where I can't talk. And it's because I don't have words to properly break down how serious things are. They say that John the Revelator marveled in speechlessness as he was being given the revelation of end times in Armageddon. He marveled at the beast. And I've not been given some revelation 2,000 years ago. I'm here watching it. And I'm watching the general public somewhat awake in some areas, but not awake in others, having no idea how fantastical how sensational reality really is. I told you over and over again the political correctness in the colleges are re-education camps. I told you Starbucks announcing that they're going to henpeck you and demand that you talk about race when you buy coffee to create division and create hysteria and create mental illness was a re-education camp tactic. Hillary Clinton has come out and called for re-education camps for adults to force us to talk about race and more. And you're like, oh, that'll never happen. Really, Obamacare would never happen. Totally open borders would never happen. World government would never happen. The government pulling you over and taking the money out of your car without a warrant or even drugs, that's in the Forbes magazine today. The DEA is seizing cash without warrants in its version of stop and frisk. I've had a chance to read the entire U.S. Army Special Operations Command unclassified F-O-U-O -O, request to conduct military training RMT Jade Helm 15. And that ties into the Hillary Clinton situation. So I'm going to just catch my breath here. And I'm going to try to compose myself during the break and think about how do I tackle this. Because you have to understand something. There's actually only two states they list in red. This is the U.S. occupied, seized federal government. Do you realize those aren't words? That's reality. That's not rhetoric. The federal government has been seized by foreign banks. They've appointed presidents in places like Italy. They call themselves totalitarian, autocratic technocrats. We're living it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to cover, undoubtedly here today, the most important information we've ever gone over. Now, in my 20 years on air, I've probably said that 50 times. And it's because as we progress down this globalist road... We hit milestones of incredibly positive things, but also incredibly sad and negative, dark things. And I'm going to go over the facts here. There has been a long-term, at least 20-year program 
to militarize the police and prepare the military itself for governing the United States under an emergency restructuring of the United States into the North American Union under unelected global private corporate trade boards and secret treaties. We would tell you about this 20 years ago. Lou Dobbs would tell you about it 10 years ago and basically got fired. Now none of that is denied. It's all out in the open. They go, yeah, the global treaties are secret and you're now under foreign corporate, corporate control. We are being captured. We are being seized. The federal government has been taken over for a long time, but it doesn't control all the states, the counties, the cities. Now, about a month ago, I was up in North Texas with uh, a, a well-known billionaire, Chuck Norris's son, Mike Norris, the filmmaker, and some law enforcement people and others, and got some key intel that dovetailed with information I had from Fort Hood and that I had separately from our sources in the state house at the highest levels. That the state of Texas is aware of a takeover plan to bring us into martial law and to actually basically arrest state officials uh, and that Texas will be the first state to be taken down under martial law. Now, I, I mentioned some of that uh, back then, but I said I was allowed to talk about it, but that it was so hardcore that I wanted to collate more data before I told you what I was told exactly. From the Fort Hood sources, from the State House sources, and from the basically Chuck Norris combine sources. This is so much stranger than fiction. And you've heard state judges come out and say, we know there's a martial law plan for Texas and Lubbock and other areas. Th th this is known. I've had three different groups from Fort Hood come to events that I've been at, and, and they're sincere in what they say and what they're doing, it's, it's, it's not, and they're completely freaked out because they're now been told to engage in preparations for the takedown of counties and cities in Texas and of the state capitol. This is very dangerous information, ladies and gentlemen. Now, one of our insider sources said, hey, this is an open source document, but they've got it hidden on one of their servers that's public but not listed. Uh, but by law, they're supposed to put this out. U.S. Army Special Operations Command requests to conduct realistic military training, RMT, Jade Helm 15. It's a joint forces under NORTHCOM and out of uh, Colorado Springs and out of the U.S. Army Special Operations Command out of Florida. And it is a unified uh, program for two command bases uh, to basically take over the entire state of Texas. And they list in the official document two states in one zone they believe during a takedown uh, of the Constitutional Republic that they will, and this is all in here, that that they will uh, get resistance in. And, they, and, and that's because they have NSA data. They have future predicting systems. They also know, if I know this stuff, they know this. They know that Utah led by the Mormons, say what you want about them. Uh, the Mormons have been playing along with the government, but the globalists have them all wiretapped and spied on. They know the Mormons actually have plans to not go along. Very rebellious to the globalists, uh, and they've also been smart enough to put their people throughout the government. They've got a takedown plan of Utah. they got a takedown plan of Texas. We're listed as hostile. That's because that's basically all there is left in the country at a governmental level of anybody they think will resist. They've got the demographics. They've got the people in government either on the payroll or spied on everywhere else. When Governor Abbott got elected, who we know is the real deal, and I know this from private sources. I've known him for years. He's a very good Christian man, you know, the governor in the wheelchair. Uh, he knows what's going on and has been having private meetings. I'm just going to leave it at that with people because these are not traitors. I mean, they understand America's dying right now, okay, folks? The country's gone. The borders are gone. They're bankrupting us. We're going into slavery. This is like France got taken down from within by the Vichy. Hitler didn't take over France. The general stood down. Then he just chased the British expeditionary force out to Dunkirk. And then the French, I mean, Hitler, a week after the invasion, was already in Paris with the police directing traffic for him. And, and that's the type of takeover we see happening 
And Texas and Utah are aware of this. They also have an area about 40 miles into California that's controlled by Mexican drug cartels that the U.S. Army expects to receive resistance when they try to occupy it. Three areas in the United States uh, in this jurisdiction, they don't list on the map uh, the Midwest, but I'll guarantee you Indiana's on it, and I'll guarantee you New Hampshire's somewhat on it. And I'll guarantee you to a certain extent Tennessee's on it when we get the full map. The rest of this is classified. But this is because they're now putting this out in the public as a psyop to hide it in plain view. That, yes, we're preparing for national stabilization and that we're preparing to win the hearts and minds locally. It says that in the document. It's in our article as well. Then they add, oh, and also this is good training for overseas. Now, it's interesting. This was the biggest or you could argue second largest prisoner of war camp in World War II was Camp Swift out between Bastrop and Smithville. This is where they're going to be running the operation with the entire combined forces of the U.S. military, but that is groups from all of them. Uh, Air Force Special Operations, Army Special Operations, Delta Force, Navy SEALs, all of them to run civilian operations. And this is also to assess which police departments are going to go along with it. And they basically admit all that in the document. So you want to see treason, folks? We've known about this for a long time, but this is it. And they're training to take over basically government buildings, to go into hardened courthouses, the Capitol, and basically um, take the governor and other people out. And that's in the John Warner Defense Authorization Act. Bush was involved, 1997, excuse me, 2007. Uh, the John Warner Defense Authorization Act says for insurrection in the states, including by the state legislatures or governors. It's not insurrection. It's duty. The government's been seized at the federal level. We're wide open. And now they're going to deploy massive amounts of military to practice basically taking over Austin. They're going to have helicopters flying around downtown, explosions, all of it. And they even talk about running into opposition when they do it. And they're talking about me. I'm the famous guy for chasing the black helicopters. Only because the San Antonio police chief, Houston police, Kingsville emergency manager, Thomas Sanchez was Army Intelligence. And they came to him and said, it's martial law training for gun confiscation. Clinton wants to test the states and see who's going to be in opposition. Well, they know from the demographics, the reason they're worried about Texas and Utah and I'm not saying these governments are perfect. In fact, we probably need to get Joel Skousen on immediately. Uh, in fact, even today, I know we've got Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, and I know we've got John McAvee coming on, but maybe at 1, we got 30 minutes there, 1 to 1.30. Get him on, because I know he has high-level sources in the Utah government, in the Salt Lake government, and he's been talking about believing Texas and Utah would be the main opposition points. Texas has been so overrun by third world populations, though, that the entire east and south will fall pretty much immediately to the feds. And they think the big war, the top analyst, is going to be fought in the hill country and into west Texas and the panhandle. This is, this is what the Pentagon's training for, folks. To, I mean, this is high treason. This is over the top. And I cannot believe we've fallen this far that they would. I already knew about all this in these maps. I already knew they were training at Fort Hood to take out the, the government. And can you, why do you think the military is so awake? They are going, what on what? We what, training to take over government buildings in Texas? Are you joking? And that's why they fired hundreds of generals, thousands of officers under them. I mean, they are just. Because they are finding out who will go along. They've got, to, they've got to train for this to identify their enemies in the military. Because they're going to purge that. And let me tell the military something. If you kind of halfway go along with this and they carry out this purge, read about Night of the Long Knives. The first thing the globalists will do, and they've done this in every country they control and so have other similar systems. They always follow the same narrative. It's, 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 it's criminology, but it also works. You think they hate veterans now and police? You help carry out the slitting of the throat of this country and the heart of this country? 
you are deader than a hammer, and it's not going to be Alex Jones coming after you. The globalists are going to come after you, and they are going to kill hundreds of thousands of you fools that go along with this. It's a guarantee. The Soviets did it. The Nazis did it. Mao did it. Castro did it. Hugo Chavez did it. I just can't. And I'm going to tell everybody something either. Either you triple down getting the word out and exposing this, or you need to evacuate now. Now is the time to evacuate the United States. I can tell you unequivocally, you'll run for a while. You won't be safe in the end. But the fact that they're bringing this stuff out with the constellation of other news I'm going to cover when we come back, Hillary has come out on TV and called for adults to be made to go to re-education camps for racism, that all adults, this is what national service is going to be. It's not going to be military. It's going to be into these new homeland tattletale brigades. And you're like, are you joking? No, I'm not joking. I, I mean, I told you. After they carry out terrorism, they're going to blame it on the Tea Party. They're going to make everybody go to re-education camps. I'm not joking. <laughs> The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139.